What is going on everybody? HD Finch here bringing you a quick tutorial on how to change your Battlefield 3 from Russian to English. Now there are quite a few number of videos on there but nothing recent. I don't know why but I really thought I would actually bring this to your attention of how to actually do this very easy for 2013. This is the January 4th. Uh, it's actually pretty early and then or late at night or whatever anyways. Uh, this is how you're going to do this. Now it might be kind of complicated to some people, but I'm going to try to walk you through this as best as possible. Step number one, you guys need to make a Battlefield 3 folder, a backup folder, as you can see what I have here. You just call it BF3. Now this is what you're going to need to do. I did mine a little bit differently, but follow what I'm about to tell you, do it step by step. So it actually makes it easier on you. I kind of made it a little bit more difficult for myself, but anyways. Make a BF3 folder. What you're going to need to copy is this file right here. This is what is going to be in your Battlefield 3 root folder. Now, if you don't know what root folder is, it's going to be uh, your main Battlefield 3 files right here. I'm going to show you how to get there in just a second. So what you're going to do is make a Battlefield 3 or BF3 folder on your desktop. And for most of you, this is how your computer is going to be set up if you just uh, installed Origins and didn't switch anything around. You're going to go to your computer find your local C drive and if you're running on 32-bit it's just gonna have program files if you're running on 64 it's gonna be program files dash you know x86 so since I would be running on I'm um, running on a 64-bit system it would be under 86 you would scroll down until you find origin games then you would open it up and your battlefield 3 folder would be here well I have mine set up differently due to the fact that this D drive is actually a bigger hard drive so it would be the same thing I actually have it rooted to its own own little folder here as you can see right here origin games battlefield 3 now this is what is considered the root folder this is where all the main information is started at so you're going to need to copy this file which is going to be in here you're not going to have an English file here the DLL file is actually going to be in RU which is Russian so you're going to copy that file the update folder and the data folder and paste it in your BF3 backup folder just so later on you might need them you never know keep them on hand put them on a flash drive if you still use floppies use a CD drive whatever keep them on hand you never know when you might need them so make sure all that gets put into the, your backup folder and you can close it out you can actually download the English files right here I've made it easier for you guys you don't have to go somewhere else and find them uh, the Dropbox link will be in the description below. Uh, when it opens up and when you un you extract it on your desktop, you're going to have an English folder like this. You're going to open it up and here are your data update and your English files right here. All you're going to do is simply copy them and paste them over here. And when it's all done, you delete the Russian files. Do, do not delete them beforehand because it might cause something to mess up just in case. Install the in English files first and then delete the Russian files and you're done. Now I'm going to tell you this. You see you go into here and then you go into data here. Both of these files are going to have Russian files. You're going to need to delete both of them. I'm telling you this. So when you go into your Battlefield root folder you need to go into update, patch, data, win32, lock. You're going to have RU files in here. You're going to need to delete those. And you go back to your Battlefield 3 root folder, go into data, Win32 again, lock. Again, it will have Russian files. You need to delete those. So make sure you go under this, the update and the data folders because they have both Russian files in them as well. And then, of course, you would delete the DLL file for Russian. That's it, guys. That's all you have to do. You don't need to run a patch or anything like that because once you install the game it has the latest patch right now it is January 4th I am actually able to run my game in Russian uh, I would show you but it's kinda hard to do because my computer likes to screw things up but I'm telling you this game works it works perfectly fine I switched everything around it really bothered me guys seriously I really wanted to play the game but I had it in Russian and I did not like having the characters yelling at me in Russian where I couldn't understand them <laughs> it's a pain believe me 
but this is a this is a solution right here. This works on Battlefield 3 Russian to English. Not no I saw a comment on a previous video on somebody else's channel saying I have Need for Speed Most Wanted. This does not work on Need for Speed. I don't know how to do that. I don't own Need for Speed. This is your solution right here. If you have any questions whatsoever, if you have any problems whatsoever, leave a comment down below. I will answer it as quick as I possibly can. And like I said, this folder right here, I will have the Dropbox link in the description below. So if you need it, need it, it's right there down below. It shouldn't take very long at all. But it might take a little bit maybe to extract it, but who knows. It's a pretty decent folder. So if you guys have any questions, like I said, leave a comment down below. I really appreciate you guys coming to my video and I, and hopefully this will help you guys out like I've said in previous videos the last couple I hope you guys had a good New Year's and a happy holidays and for some of you who celebrate Christmas I hope you guys had a good Christmas or a Merry Christmas thanks again for watching take care later